way. Save game one. Do not abandon the dimension. Thank you. Thank you for the kisses, Benji. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you. What would I do without you, buddy? Let's see. Four DNA points. I obviously want more DNA points than that, because I have a new squad member who's only level two, and I need him to be level four. Someone else also needs to be level four. She's only level three. But I'm excited to have four folks on my squad. All right. So where are we trying to get? Trying to get there. Let's work our way backwards, looking for the best rewards. So that's one breach. Two breach, so we can get a purple. Three breach. We'll get some credits. Four breach enhances our shields. Five breach gets us started. And we could do a couple of... Oh, there's double? Oh no, these are multiple breach points there. But still. If we wanted to, we can get some extra stuff there. Because we'll have an extra day. And we got a full heal waiting for us right there, which is very nice. Alright. Let's open things up by... Essentially making our route to the gold. Do it, breach. This time I'll take advantage of the, uh, the extra day I probably will have at the end. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, what we got? A buff bot. He's recalibrating. He's going for a point blank shot on her, and he's doing the same thing. Oh, thank you, Odin. Which means I'm gonna go for a deflect right there. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for a break on him so he never gets his recalibrate. Broadside salvo. Leading to weakened armor. Counterattacks when hit. Interesting. And also, armor-piercing rounds. Seems like everything he does comes with a return fire, which is nice. Alright, broadside's a little slow, but I'm gonna go for it. Plant explosives. Yeah! Do it! I wanna see plant explosives in action. Dancing Bear, hello! And Coco the Coca Bro, hello there. Going all right, how are you? We're starting Planet 2 here. This is literally the first fight. I love our little commando friend. I'm glad it's going well for you. I'd say I'm doing pretty good. I'm coming up on, like, the end of my visit here, so I'm getting the... Be like, oh god, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to Benji. In moments of like panic hugging my dog. Let's go for the kill shot on you. Oh, I'm glad you're happy to be here. <laughs> I'm happy you're happy. Go for a smash on you and break you. Ooh, Broadside can get in there before he has his turn. Do it. Straight shot as well, and we break them all. Everyone's either broke or dead. And that's what I like to see. Knock him into the next round. Mm. 
All right, while these guys are taking their turn, I'll release the Benji. He's uh, losing his mind. What do I think of the game so far? I'm really into it. It's real good. I like the combat, I like the art style, the music's good. There's nothing I dislike about this so far. Alright. Kill shot on this guy. Hmm. Who can go before them? <coughs> Alright, we can kill him before he has his turn. Yeah, I'm really digging this game. Alright, he'll have his turn, but that's okay. She's not gonna lose shields. You know what? Deflect. And give me a salvo. No, give me a broadside. As long as no one takes health damage, I'm happy. Shields regenerate after combat. And there he goes. Did you just push open the door, you little jerk? Ooh, 24 DNA. Eternalists. Of all the people I want to live forever by transplanting the brains of the power of machines, they're last on the list. They're always chasing whoever has the shiniest tech. I bet they worship the Imperium as gods. I heard the Eternalists are secretly lizard people, which is actually less terrifying than what they are on the surface. Alright, let's gain shields, and let me go close my door. I'll make this decision in one moment. Stop opening the door, Benji! Okay. Hmm. Can I choose to do this afterwards? Commando, Aegis. So Aegis is our tank. She already has a lot of shields. Her having more shields would be good, but I really feel like Valkyrie, who's our other frontliner, could stand to have extra shields. So we're gonna improve her shields. So many hearts! <laughs> I'm happy, you're happy, I'm happy. Well, I'm happy, you're happy, I'm happy, you're happy, that I'm happy, that you're happy. <gasps> I think I got that right. Alright, level three. If I can give him level four, we have a very cool pulse rifle for him that I would love to give him. Oh, we can! He's gonna get horn swaggle. Redirects attack to a random ally. <laughs> that doesn't sound super great, but given that he is super weak, <coughs> health and shield-wise, Probably a good thing. It's a wall of love. Thank you for the wall of love. I don't know if I'm gonna use that move all that often, but it's nice to have. Alright, one more person I need to level up to level 4. What kind of food you have this time? Alright, we could finally get Bentley. What? Oh, oh, interesting. There's two different types of guns. We could still give him another gun. But now he has Pulse 4, 25% damage versus shields, and inflicts Ionized 4, and additional 5% damage versus health on all attacks. Which is pretty nice. Ooh, grilled chicken, nice. He's so soft and fluffy. Putting a stroke. Do I have any other equipment I can mess around with here? Nope. You can't use swords. Nope. Alright. Everyone's at full health, full shields. Reach two. Do it. The brick laser, yes. Oh! What we got here? 
Both your heroes and your enemies start combat in a set formation. Their position in the formation determines whether they can be hit or not be hit by certain attacks. Frontline enemies can be hit by any attack. Backline enemies can only be hit can only be targeted after all enemies on the front row have been eliminated. Attacks that can target any position can bypass the front line. These attacks display a special targeting icon with a reticle to signify they could target any position. Interesting. <laughs> Look at that guy. A flagellant. Creevil Bokania, a husk. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And just your standard Robo Soldier Mark II's. Man, are they all going after? He's going after him. Yeah, you see, they love going after Valkyrie. Which is a bummer. Wait, I don't have full shields. That's actually kind of confusing. I thought we got those back between rounds. Alright. I would like to prevent you from getting a turn, first of all. So let's break him. Yes, Flagellate or the Swiggity Sweetie Bot. Either name is appropriate. knock you pretty far back. With a smash on you, we confirm the knockback into Breakland. If I do a broad shot, that's that's a kill shot. Let's go for a kill shot. Go one down. Oh! Well, that's an attack. I started 20 minutes ago. You didn't get a notification. Weird. <coughs> I really don't understand the lack of notification. <coughs> Other people say that as well sometimes. Oh, the Benji. Alright, who's attacking who? You two are going after Gentleman in the back, you're going after her. Well, let's try and make that not the case, shall we? Alright, that takes care of one of them. Oh, hold on over there, Benji. Sunder's a little bit slow for what I'm trying to do. Oh, I can't reach any of them until this guy's out of the way, huh? I'm doing alright, how are you? Forward units, 30 percent armor damage, return fire. Interesting, armor piercing rounds is a buff for my party? Let's give that a try. Flagellate's gonna go first. I mean, if I can get rid of him, that's one of the points of damage coming his way. That's a kill shot. Yeah. I like it. Like it a lot. <coughs> that wasn't too bad. <coughs> I should probably take allergy pill in the not too distant future. 
All right, now I can hit the back line. Yes, I can. Who are you going for? All right, I don't like that. That doesn't matter. So first things first. Let's let's blitz this guy. Oh, interesting. That won't prevent his round. All right, let's go for plant explosives. Focus on you, I guess. Give me a smash. Yeah, we'll just kill this guy. And a salvo. I don't like this focus fire they're doing on my Valkyrie. How's it going, Carrie? There's the kill shot. And now, let's end this fight. Detonate! Oof. I like it. He's gonna be dead regardless, but we'll still do our attacks. Doesn't matter if we push him into the next round, because he's dead. I'm sorry, what did he turn into at the end there? I don't... I don't much like that. <laughs> Credits. Oh, right, when we arrived with the anti-air cannon, that's how we took that damage. All right. <coughs> if we go up here, we're gonna get a sadistic commander. Which makes me a little bit nervous. Yeah, but who's this guy? Lieutenant. Lieutenant's gonna be slightly easier to deal with. Met the co-streamer finally? You finally met Jimmy? Good old Jimmy? Yeah, I'd rather fight the lieutenant, I think. The commander, when we were at kind of low health on a few characters, makes me nervous. It's like Dark Souls with robots and aliens. In that it has very little similarities, yes. Or in the way that I like it a lot. I do like Dark Souls quite a bit. All right, what we got? A brute coming with a pounds. Enric Sage, the subjugator, and a pulse trooper. And who's attacking who? This guy's hitting everybody, so knocking him out of this turn is important to me. Very visually pleasing game. I think this game is gorgeous. Uh, give me a blitz on him. I don't want his turn to happen. I want you to go into a deflect, because two people are hitting you. It's gonna take a while to kill that man. I think I'll get rid of this guy's shields first. <clears throat> Give me a broadside on this guy. Yeah. Oh, Crawl! That's a game I haven't thought about for a little while. Yeah, I can see that. Similar style with the pixel art. Some of the characters remind me of the pixel art from uh, Super Time Force Ultra. Particularly this gentleman right here. Thank you, mother. I agree. That went well. Alright, this guy's coming with a ground pound again, which makes me a little nervous, but... 
We can prevent that one more turn with Trick Shot. Yeah, before the pandemic, in the before times, when we could do that kind of stuff. Uh, sometimes I, I could barely remember. <laughs> Who are you attacking her? And you're doing some sort of shielding for him. Interesting. So he's gonna jump in front and take the damage for him. Let's do a cleave then. Can we deflect? And give me a broadside. You know what? Give me armor piercing rounds for the party. When this is all over, a fun thought you had in April, right? It's like, when this all blows over... It never did. Yeah, we'll still broadside, but I'm gonna broadside this guy, I think. Yeah, right in his dumb face. I don't like that guy's guard ability. It's very annoying. This will shred them, I'm sure. Oh no, everyone's going after her, and she dies if we do not prevent it. <coughs> no. Really do gotta take those allergy pills. A blitz can break you. Can't break him. There we go. That's reducing the damage that she's taking. She's no longer dying. I like that. Wonder, is there any way for me to push him into another round? Nope. He is stanced up. Well, in that case, let's go for a kill shot on this dude. And you know what? Let's guard Allie. Allie! Ally! That should help us out. Very good. I love this tank. She's so good. All right, subjugator. Ground pound, you say? Let's prevent the ground pound. I do not care for the ground pound, I will not allow the ground pound. Interesting. I have to attack him. I wonder why. Hmm. Well, in that case, go for the big hits. Deflect, maybe? I'm out of shields. Uh, charge shield is so slow. I'm gonna take the health damage before I get it off. Yep, yeah, we'll go with deflect. Give me a salvo. We get to rest after this, so we'll be able to heal our party. Not so tough now, are you? I love our little commando guy. He's real good. A very nice crit. 
He's going for a ground pound. I don't think he'll be alive to do it. Oh, this piece of garbage. That guard's very annoying, but... Armor piercing around. 50% armor damage. We might be able to just peel through his armor. A decent amount of shield damage coming in, but not too bad. Yeah, I think this is the right time for armor piercing rounds. And we'll go for whatever hits the hardest. Although, for her, I think I'll go with a charge shield instead. Yeah, charge shields. And plant some explosives. Not the best use of his uh, buff at the moment, but it will help next turn. There we go. If they're gonna be so kind as to give me a turn where I can just do that kind of stuff, I'm gonna take advantage of it by regenerating her shield so she could protect other people again. You're running a little hot. Time to knock you down to size. All right, I'm pretty sure we can kill the big boy this turn. I don't like this pump up he's doing. Detonate the explosives. Metric Sphinxy, how's it going? There we go. Irradiate them. Slash will go... You know what? Just go for the cleave. It's a little bit late in the turn order, but that's okay. Smash the kill shots. Line up a broadside for the other dude. I mean, that hurt a lot, but it's okay. Yeah, say that another turn, when all of you are dead. Ah, oh, this pump-up kept him alive until the last hit. That's a little bit of a bummer. But at least the brute's down. Vengeful stance. I see the world. Oh, sorry. I see the world a whole new way now. That sentence was hard for me to read. Vengeful stance. Cannot be delayed. <coughs> I see. I believe that means we'll be countered. Yeah, return fire is gonna happen no matter what. That's gonna strip your shields, but you'll survive. Not a huge fan of that, to be honest. Got a battle cry in there. Broadside. Smashes a kill shot. The only person who's not going to do anything is the character that would actually lose health. Everyone else has shields to use. On fire. And dead. Perfect. 50, 60, and 8. Good lord. Dynamic duo. I was just following orders! The fighting style of these brutes are fascinating. I should jot down some notes so that I can give a talk on it later. With 56. Ha, <coughs> shield throw. New power, shield throw. And someone could become level 5. Plot revenge. Latest draft. Disarming wink. These are all cards for camping.
The health increase is most helpful for the person that's the most damaged, I think. Let's make you level 5. I think I'm happy with that. And we can plot some revenge tonight. Who doesn't like plotting revenge? Reaver Chip, Concussive Blade, Nitro Blaster. Really should have done this part first. So a gun for him. Ooh, this is his other hand. We can get two pieces of equipment for him. This would be a replacement for him. Or for her, rather. And this is a reaver chip for her. 60% damage on heavy attacks, 10% damage versus marked on all attacks. I'm gonna get the second gun for this guy. Stash it for now. Some credits. Ooh, more credits lying around? Let's go get those credits, shall we? And then when we're nice and rested, I think we're going after... ...the commander over here. And some epic equipment. And right next to a full heal. A lot of stuff to like about that area. <clears throat> Let's camp here. Alright, first things first, she needs to get healed. Good lord. Heal yourself, please. <clears throat> Anyone else have any heals? Heal health, shield defense, last two combats. Uh, you're the next one to get healed. And, you know, improve your relationships. Fifty <coughs> percent <coughs> <coughs> armor repair. Seems like a good idea for her. Yarg! That's right, he's a pirate. Attack speed. Yeah, let's work on your relationship. Do need to make this guy a companion, no longer a friend, though. That would be uh, nice to do. Enough uh, resources, cost two. Attack strain shields, ten. Health damage, last two combats. I think I'll. Yeah, become better friends, you two. Yar. Alright. Most of the bad damage has been repaired. We're not at full, but you know what? We can get at full. It's right there. And we're almost at our destination. Breach. Do it. Don't like that! Good lord! Look at them, mother! Helpless! Go ahead, I dare you! Oh, I regret coming here! I have regrets, good lord! makes me very nervous. Uh, deflect. We got a lot of damage coming in our way. Hmm. Cleaves very slow. Yeah, I'd like to break this guy. So let's focus on breaking him. 
Salvo broadside? Broadside will break him. You know what? Plant explosives. I can't believe he's already out of shields. That was a ridiculous opener. Break him, please. Thank you. Good lord. Alright, she's still got her shields. And now she's out of shields. Well, this is dark. There won't be much left when I'm done with you. Alright, first things first. Detonate your explosives, please. Shields down on most of you. Ah, oh, the big guy is still okay, huh? Everyone's coming after her, I don't like that. We could break you. Yeah, you do that. Shield throw... And break him. Or him. I'd love to break whoever's going after my Valkyrie. You know what? Let's just go for the breaks. Whatever does a good break. Give me a break there. Give me a broadside on... Uh, big Robot's scary. On you. Yeah, no, that's that's very scary, very bad. Don't like that shields are down there. Oh, good lord! It's one break. It's two break. I am kind of nervous. This should knock some death into you. All right, we can knock a big robot back. Who's attacking who? You're going after him, and he will die. Man, everyone's going after him. All right. Break big robot, please. Can I get a kill shot on anyone? <sighs> it's kind of a long shot, but I'm gonna plant explosives. Alright, you're gonna take quite a hit there. I want you to guard him. Prevent a kill shot. Give me armor piercing? No, just a broadside, I think. He's guarding him. You know what? Yeah, go for it. This is gonna be rough. At least laser storm's not gonna happen now. That's the worst! Alright, detonating is our best hope here. Yes, do it. Alright, that's one down. 
Oh, good lord. What do we have coming in here? <laughs> Everyone's going after her, I see. That's bad. <clears throat> Salvo. We'll knock him back. Broadside won't do enough to knock him back in the lineup. Let's do that. Alright, he's gonna be knocked pretty far back by that. I need him to be broke, though. Broke or dead. Oh. With her knocked out, we're in a bad way. We're in a very bad way. So Laser Storm's gonna be a kill shot on him. And the rest of them are getting kill shots on her. All right, buddy. 45 seconds, five seconds, 25 seconds. Salvo is the best bet for knocking someone out of turn order. Give me armor piercing rounds, I suppose. And a battle cry. Okay. Can we stay alive? <coughs> it's not looking good. No, I think it ends here. Good lord! The opening round of stripping my shields and then immediately summoning a brute class enemy was such a bad thing to have happen for the start of this goddamn fight. Is there a run away button? I don't believe there is. <laughs> I think we're just screwed. Can you kill someone at least? Nope. This poor man dies here. Ah! Oh. Such a bummer. Defeat. You've lost. Should not have gone after the commander. Well, it looks like someone got a promotion. I see. To advance, there just needs to be a lot of death and destruction. Seems natural when you think about it. Well, now we have another nemesis to uh, look forward to fighting one day. Lyle Janarian, that piece of garbage. Wait. That's the same Lyle Janarian. He's our nemesis from last time, and he kicked her ass again. We gotta keep our eyes open for Lyle. <laughs> I love harassing the dog. You know, Xerx, I've never noticed your eyes. They're really beautiful, piercing even. Like you've been looking right through me and reading all my thoughts and desires. That's exactly what I'm doing. My eyes are highly advanced data analytic systems. Cool, cool, all good. Uh, do they need to have that creepy red glow all the time? I added that feature myself. I like it. Don't don't get me wrong. It's just a little creepy is all. What's over here? In other news, with the handing over of the galaxy to our new Imperium overlords, one of our questions many of us are asking, what's the new flag going to look like? We'll have the incoming high vexologist on after the break. Mr. Ferris, how's it going? Yes, I really enjoy this game, so I was looking forward to playing more of it. We, uh, did just get... ...annihilated... 
by fucking Janarian. My arch rival, Janarian. The Seer perk can now be activated during squad select. Shielder. Good day so far, I'm glad. Reaver, Saboteur. Crit damage pierces armor and shields for 25%. Siphoner for Aegis. Smash now drains 15 shields from the enemy. Boy, I leveled up quite a few times by losing, didn't I? This hero perk can now be activated during squad select. Berserker. Goodbye, J... <laughs> Goodbye, J5T. This reality has been flossed. But the next one can be saved. I set the coordinates for the jump. Take what you've learned. We will defeat them next time. Oh, we got Quantum Synchronizer. Recruit others to join the Renegade Initiative. Use Imperium Tech to craft new gear. We do have more credits for the first time in a while. Unlock Renegades. Alright, we've unlocked Penrave here. Bentley's our commando. I enjoyed him. High damage support. They could also stun... And regenerate shields in a pinch. Right, I, have to, I have to release the Benji. Give me one sec. Staying on that side. I call you Lou if it's easier. Is Luciferus not how you pronounce that name? <clears throat> Alright, I really enjoyed Bentley. But we've seen Bentley. We haven't seen Jens Malaric. So I think I might unlock Enforcer. High damage support that can also stun and regenerate shields in a pinch. And guard allies and regenerate shields. Although... Nah... I liked Benly, but I want to see a new thing. Let's unlock... Jens Malik. Joins the resistance as an enforcer. Alright. It's a lot of syllables, so people trip over it sometimes. I see, I see. Ooh. <laughs> I like this frog friend over here. All unlocked armor gear can randomly spawn during a mission at all item levels. Higher level variants will be more powerful. What we got here? Unlocking this will allow you to randomly spawn during your mission. All item levels, 1 through 10. Auto regen shields. Plus 2 armor damage, normal attacks, bleeding. Plus 10% damage to all attacks. That's a fun one, Malice. Let's see, we can unlock two things. Oh, three things, actually. I'm gonna go with Malice. Oh, uh, damn it, I was Treachery I just grabbed. Whoops. That's fine. That's what I meant to do. Mud! I love you too, buddy. I think you would really dig this game, but All attacks are keep five seconds faster. Let's get Decimator. Oh, we have some other stuff down there I should have looked at. I'm gonna grab Colossus. Have a support item in there as well. Alright. And now let's start a new dimension. Let's try and save the next one, shall we? Tark Chanlo, Senya Lanadora, Bentley. Let's see, I want to bring along Jens Malric. Pengrave. 
I really like this guy. Is there any kind of linear storytelling? There is, in fact. But when you die, you go to another dimension that is about to be invaded that's, you know, identical to the one you were just in, but hasn't been invaded yet. So the story can just safely progress as if you're the same people, even though everyone died last time. And deal heavy damage to enemies and take out armor. Disruptive can stagger stun and do decent damage. I want to see what I could do with this group. Reaver. Yes, everyone died, unfortunately. <laughs> we are. Oh, she comes with Siphoner, he comes with Reaver. We've never used him before, so he doesn't come with anything special. He's a new guy, Jens Malark. Continue. I don't want to check out a different party composition. <laughs> I do like that they all pop in with their their fun little dialogue. All right, Lyle Janarian is the man that must die. I hate Lyle. He's the worst. He's my arch enemy. Must kill Lyle. They do it in a fun way, too. They front-load the story. And once you're past, like, the initial tutorial story bits, the game just jumps right into, like, the meat and potatoes, so you don't have to relive the initial story bits. I like that. The game doesn't waste your time with, like, Alright, we're gonna explain everything all over again. It's like, no, I... I have played this before. You know, moments ago while I was playing and before I died. Okay. We can go to the right, which will get us some credits. A bunch of fights, one piece of armor, or equipment rather, but we're gonna get that no matter what. We come from the other side, we can get enhanced shields, some DNA. Going down, I think, is what I want to do. Good pathfinding, team. All right, let's see our new character in action. Cannon Blast, Direct Strike. Going after you, going after you. First up, let's go with the guy we know well and break Direct Strike. Don't want to deal with that. And now, new friend, what do you got? Burst shot, lock target. It's a flurry attack. 52 damage, that's a big hit. Doesn't actually, uh, help with setting people backwards. No, actually, uh, right before you showed up is what I, I lost my other run. Uh, we had a team of four going on. And you can go up to a team of six. You just need to, uh, get the folks on your team as you play. Good lord, this guy's a big hitter. And give me a smash. Wait, 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 wait. So you've been delayed. Guy in the back, can we kill you? With a burst shot? And a smash? No, but we can get you real, real close. Alright, in that case, I will go after the guy that's already stunned. So we can kill it. I'm excited to get to, like, bigger teams. Four was fun. But I want... I want five, I want six. Alright, he doesn't have any shields anymore, but that's fine. Pretty sure this enemy will be dead before that's a problem. Yeah, good lord, this guy's a heavy hitter. I thought he was more defensive when I was reading his uh, description. But no, this guy obliterates with that burst shot. 
So essentially we have high defense. She's the she's the lady that's gonna keep people alive. He's disruptive. His job is basically to keep people from getting their attacks off when possible. And his job is to kill. To kill. This Titan meets all the criteria of a first-rate specimen. Big, ancient, and a hand. Don't worry, the hands are more afraid of you than you are of them. That's one big lord ornament, I'll say. I came this way for the DNA, mostly. Trick shot's great. Buckshots. Shield transfer, charge shields. I'm gonna level him up. I wanna see Buckshot. Alright, little shield thief. Haven't seen these guys for a little while. Oh, both of you are going after her. That's fun. Alright, blitz the gremlin. Don't want to deal with that right now. And give me a smash. Buckshot. Ah, it comes with a stun, I see. That's real good, having another stun. But we can just murder it, so who, mo who cares? Why bother when you can just kill? I could not foresee a future where we do not have exoskeleton super shooter on our party. Like, not on our party. He's gonna be on our party all the time. We're going after her, which is fine. Those shields will regenerate. Give me a straight shot, and give me a burst shot for a kill shot. God, the power! Dude's a beast. So I'd say what we learned so far after losing on Planet 2 is definitely don't go after the commanders. Take out lieutenants, build up your power, your items, everything else first. Then go after a commander, because commanders have a lot of bad things going on. I've heard these crystals are made from the droppings of the titans. All these crystals on Menku are generating plenty of vibes, but whatever they're good or bad vibes is too soon to tell. How much do you think this thing would go for on the black market, Hi hypothetically? Let's go ahead and enhance our shields. I'm gonna go with Enforcer. Having extra shield sounds nice. Oh gee, I wonder what this giant gun symbolizes. I wouldn't want to be on the business end of this, baby. I have to admit, I'm envious of the size of this gun. Let's level you up for trick shot so we have another way to knock people into the next round. And Aegis will be our next level up. I'm glad I've bottled up the entirety of my negative experiences from childhood, so that I can now unleash them and all of you in the form of violent death. See a therapist, guy. Alright, he's an Overwatch. Counter Overwatch hits. All right. Can I blitz him into next round. I can. But before then, let's just see. Can I kill him with a straight shot? No. All right. In that case, blitz this fool. Nineteen shield damage is fine. More smash, more pew pew, all the things you want. I 
imagine Burst Shot paired up with... Oh god, they have guns? I didn't even notice. How's it going, Chris? Go for the kill shot. How are you, Krios? Armor break, and then death. It is, in fact, a new run. I went into a fight with a commander who... His opening move, before I could even do anything, stripped me of all my shields, and summoned a large brute class minion, and then we got pummeled. It was bad. Just got done avoiding a big combat encounter in D&D. &D. Ooh. Yeah, I'm sorry, friend. You're not gonna. You're not gonna live to do your turn. But now we have a new character, and this guy fucking owns. Get some DNA. Get a dynamic duo. I was just following orders. The guy who killed us, by the way, is the nemesis who killed us our first game, so he's really been working his way up in the ranks. That piece of garbage. Do 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 do. Necron, how are you? I'm doing all right. I'm really enjoying this game. Shield stabilizer for him. Plus 20 shields, plus 10% resist antimatter damage. Or we could do plus 12% damage on all attacks. Or penetrates armor 25% and inflicts burning one. I don't know. I think I like this nice defensive thing here. I really focused on weapons last time, and it shows. So let's give him a shield stabilizer. Oh, he's level 2. I wouldn't be able to equip it just yet. You know what? Let's go for something we could straight up start using. Additional damage on all attacks, because his... His big attack is a volley. It's multiple hits, so 12% is going across multiple hits. I think that's going to be a very nice damage upgrade. Equip it. What is this game? This is Star Renegades. It's a very cool game. I'm very, very into it. It has... The basic premise is there is an empire destroying the galaxy, subjugating everybody, and we need to work our way through three planets to make our way to their home base and destroy them. Uh, if we lose, they win, and the idea is this little robot floating here will jump into a new dimension and try again in another dimension. Another reality. It's a multiverse theory situation. Uh, he brings along new experiences and ideas that are the, the meta rollover elements. And the roguelike element, of course, is every time you go through, it's slightly different because you're in another dimension. It even brings along, interestingly enough, let me just uh, level up someone here. Let's get you to level two. It brings along the Nemesis system from Shadow of Mordor. So I've lost uh, my very first run and my second run. So this is my third run here. In the two runs that I've lost, this jackass has been the guy who's killed me. Lyle Janarian. So he's been climbing the ranks after, like, after he kills me, he gets promoted. So this bastard here. And the other guy who's a problem for me is Zenith Lead. These two are my my nemesises that have been hanging out. Bastards. Do 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 do. Alright, so the initial opening here is taken care of. Let's move on and start the game proper. Great job, you sliced and diced those bogeys. I have been giving them experience. They're leveling up because of me. Now their base belongs to you, you've earned a break. Set up camp, get some rest, and we'll push on in the morning. Do -do 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 -do. There's also a relationship element to the game where your friends here become more effective in combat together the closer they are, so you sit around a campfire at night and share experiences, and eat foods. 
and this little robot roasts a hollow mush uh, marshmallow, which is adorable. Plus 30, max shields last for two combats. Yeah, definitely do that on that gentleman. So we work on their friendships, and we also do things that will aid us in the coming encounters. All attack strain shields. That cost one. She has no cards. Let's go with the thing that costs two. Work on those relationships. Oh, you got Among Us? I think we might do that tomorrow. Because that's a game I've been to check out, and I know a bunch of people over around these parts have that game. I also picked it up for $5, so it might be a fun thing for us to play together. Where are we now? Which dimension? Fascinating stuff. Can't wait to get out there, mother! So this is the planet we're working on, so it just revealed all of our future enemies that are now on the map. More rioters. Disgusting! Aslik Dimodon of the Aslik Dimodale family. I will enjoy slaughtering them in mother's name. If they come my way, expect me to ground them into paste and scoff them down. You can hang your hat on that. And there's our objective. So the idea is in three days, a Colossus arrives and we have to defeat it. We're trying to make our way there so we can intercept it before it arrives. <coughs> we can do whatever we want in that length of time. So here's our objective. Let's work our way backwards and figure out where the good prizes are. Enhances armor, enhances shields. It's not bad. Rare item, full heal is always nice. Where's an epic? Oh, there's an epic. All right, so one breach for an epic. Where's my location? Up here. That's one breach, two breach, three breach, four breach. Wow, we can get there in four? That's so close. Is there any reason I would want to go backwards? Area's about to be locked down. No reason to go back that way. Except for the fact that I can get to the enhancement stations. Hit the full heal and still get the epic. How many breaches is that? Alright, we have one breach, two breach, three breach. And then one, two, three. Yeah, I believe we could do that in the three days. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we could do it in the three days. Let's do it. Breach. Laser blast, laser blast, auto fire. Everyone's going after her, huh? Give me a deflect. You know, I actually don't want to break anyone. I want them to go ahead and enjoy taking that damage. So let's go for... The guy doing something different gets the die first, I've decided. Ooh. Shields down. Hurt yourselves for me. Very good. And then get obliterated. Yeah, no, this new guy, real good. Give me a burst shot. Give me a straight shot. Give me a smash. I'm not even going to try and break him. I just want to kill them. As long as no one loses their full shields and takes health damage, it's like it never happened when we're done. Your warlock now is Blur. That's a fun video game, Blur. I haven't played it for a few years, but I used to enjoy it quite a bit. Nice. 
I can use any of my fury abilities. Just gonna let that build up to a full bar. And then when we have a real situation, we could just unload. Seven DNA. Just don't talk to the Mancoans. They'll want to tell you about wheat growing techniques for hours on end. A breach. Laser eyes. Give me a blitz and break him. I see. It was a decision you were trying to make. First shot. And give me a smash. Smash is gonna go up first, which is gonna deplete the shields. And most of that goes through his health damage, not bad. Alright, give me another smash. Give me a straight shot, so he's stunned. And go ahead and just obliterate him with burst shot. Yeah, I like this party combination quite a bit. Multiple ways to make enemies skip their turns. High power, high damage output, and very good defense with our Aegis. Last time with, uh, main character Sword Lady, a lot of the trouble we were running into is that she has good damage output, but she died all the time. Forbidden knowledge. Alright, everyone's getting a campfire card as their, their upgrade. I would love to upgrade Nodo's shields, though. Good lord, look at that. That is a sad time. <laughs> 